Hi, oh my, it's December 18th, 2012. It's turning out already to be a bad day. I'm out of peanut butter, but I have my copy. You're going to need your copy. Sit down. I'm going to bring you an article here. I'll put the link below. Uh, but you are going to need to be prepared in advance. I had to go actually and get my uh, Rapture Ready shirt on. And uh, no, the world's not going to end. On December 21st, we are still going to be here. We got to be careful when we look at such news and such articles as doomsday. The world will end uh, December 21st. And that's Friday. We're still going to be here. We're still going to be here on Saturday. Uh, we cannot add to or take away from the Word of God. There's a lot of Bible prophecy that has to still be fulfilled. We have to have uh, the rapture of the church. The Antichrist has to come on the world stage. You've got to have seven years of tribulation. Yeshua's got to step down. He's got to fight the battle of Armageddon. We've got to have a thousand year millennium. Then Jesus is going to take his heel and kick Satan into the lake of fire. We've got a long time yet before the world ends. And that's what I'm talking about. We can't add to or take away from the word of God. I hope you're sick. Yeah, i got to have some coffee. You know, I'm out of peanut butter. Did I say that? Oh, my. we got to be careful when we stray away from the King James Bible. The King James Bible. When we get into uh, uh, these... I don't really want to... I, I, I'm going to say that for another video. It's very controversial when we get away from the... King James Version Bible. When we get into the more newer translated versions, the NIV, we'll, we'll save that for another day. Let me take you to Scripture before I bring you... Well, let me bring you the headline first. I, I am just a mess today. I am a mess today. I'm looking for news articles, and this is what pops up. You may be aware of it already. I don't know. Are you ready for this? No, I want to say that God loves all people. We are all his children. God loves those that are gay. And so do I. But it does not make the lifestyle pleasing to God. It's an abomination. It doesn't mean we don't love them. Now, are you ready for this? I hope you're sitting down. World's, world's first gay Bible. Special Queen James edition changes translation of key same-sex passages. Now listen to this. Changes translation. Bible published to coincide with debate over same-sex marriage. The author is listed as God and contributor listed as Jesus Christ. Um, and it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better when I start reading this article because uh, somehow they're trying to suggest that Jesus was gay. We are truly living in the end days. Let me take you to Scripture, to the book of Revelation. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify, listen to me, for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, the King James, King James Bible. If any man shall add to these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly, and surely he does come quickly. We are not to take away or add to. That's what worries me about these more modern translations. Alright, here's the headline. I'm not going to put it off anymore. 
World, world's first gay Bible, special Queen James edition, changes translation of key same-sex passages. A book claiming to be the world's first gay Bible has been published to coincide with the debate on same-sex marriage. Titled the Queen James Bible, right there is blasphemy. Its editors claim that it is a reworking of the King James Bible translated in a way that prevents homophobic misinterpretation of God's word. Homosexuality was first overtly mentioned in the Bible in 1946 in the revised standard edition. That's just what I'm talking about. We cannot add to or take away and we're talking about going back in 1946, the revised standard version. This is the only version. This is the only true word, and it's not to be revised. There is no mention of or reference of to homosexuality in any Bible prior to this. That's because it is an abomination. Only interpretations have been made, the book's official website said. The publication, printed and bound in the U.S., is time to coincide with the current debate over same-sex marriage. The sales pitch on the website says you can't choose your sexuality, but you can choose Jesus. Now you can choose a Bible, too. The book is on sale online, but does not advertise its origins, with no specific publisher, editor, or translator listed by name on its official website. God is listed as the author and Jesus Christ a contributor. Douglas J. Moo, Westner Chair of Biblical Studies at Wheaton College and a professor, professional rather, Bible translator, told the Christian Post that the Queen James editor's uh, assessment of past translations is not entirely accurate view with any English translations use the actual words homosexuality or homosexual, but the history of English translation shows that versions have consistently used other language to refer to what we would call homosexual relationships, said Mr. Wu. Oh my goodness, for instance, the King James Version of Romans 127 refers to men leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemingly. It would be very difficult to deny that this language and the language found in many other places in both, both the Old Testament and New Testament refers to homosexuality. A vicar in New Zealand, meanwhile, has caused outrage by putting up a poster outside his church in Auckland, New Zealand that claims Jesus was gay. It's Christmas, time for Jesus to come out the sign proclaims with an image of baby Jesus as a toddler in a manger surrounded by a rainbow halo. I can't really read on anymore. It's showing. I'm going to put the link uh, below for you in uh, the description box. It's showing a picture of baby Jesus in a manger with a, a rainbow halo. The Queen James Bible. Once again, God loves all people. We are all his children. It doesn't matter where the enemy has led you, what religion you practice, and even if it's a false religion, you're praying to false deities, false gods, and false idols. We are living in the end days. All that call upon it will be saved. But you have to know the error of your ways. We cannot add to, we cannot take away from this book. And it is the King James Bible, not the Queen James. Leave me comments, everyone. I don't know. I need some peanut butter. God bless.